Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a really easy three cheese baked spaghetti. This recipe is so quick and simple. Here I have already cooked off my spaghetti. After you drain it, you want to mix it in a bowl with butter and then add olive oil, parmesan cheese and eggs. You thoroughly combine it and you'll notice it gets nice and thick and creamy. One thing to know is when cooking your pasta, don't overcook it. You'll want to cook it to just al dente because it's going to continue to cook when you put it in the oven. So now the next part is really nice and easy and we just assemble our dish. So you want to make sure you spray down the pan that you're going to bake it in. You place your spaghetti mixture right into the pan. And spread it out nice and evenly. And then we take cottage cheese. And we want to just spread this out evenly over the spaghetti. And then we take our meatless spaghetti sauce. If you want to, you can use a meat option in your school. Um, this is just a nice vegetarian option for students. And we just pour it right over the top here. And as it bakes, that sauce will just kind of melt right down into that spaghetti and that cottage cheese. So make sure it's spread out nice and evenly. And now we're going to place it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. All right, so our baked spaghetti has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. So now we're going to take it out and we're going to cover the top with mozzarella cheese. So try to get this covered as evenly as you can. And of course, there is no such thing as too much cheese. All right, and we're going to put this back in the oven for about five minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted and starts to get a little bit of color on it. So we'll be back with the finished product shortly. So now that our cheese is all melted and getting nice and golden around the edges, it's time to take it out and let it cool. Um, this half pan will serve about eight to ten, um, make about eight to ten servings depending on the grade levels that you're serving. Um, just make sure you follow your recipe. Uh, and you'll, you can't go wrong. This is a beautiful, delicious dish, and I hope everybody gives it a try.